All right, hey everyone, this is a uh, Halloween 2021. I'm making this video um, not only to document what I did, but to hopefully help other people come up with ideas for uh, future haunted houses. pop-up tents and other decorations so as you can see I have a smaller like a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 attached to a big 20 by 10 um, then over here is some uh, stuff I really handmade as you can probably tell and of course this is all during the day I'm gonna have the lights and everything running for the nighttime version uh, which I'll add to this video. So first, um, this is the spider tunnel. Woo. So this is the entrance. It's a spider tunnel. I made this out of PVC pipe. See, these are just little wooden stands. Uh, I drilled holes and put ground stakes to keep these parts in because there's a lot of tension and then basically it's just pvc pipe that runs up above uh, and then here's the other end and i screwed in uh, the tent legs as well that's like a 35 pound weight um, so this part is all black tarp uh, spider webs um, i hope it looks really good during the night <laughs> some lights so then you come up here and from here I have a step pad that goes to Mr. Dark um, he's not on yet He's a new animatronic I got from Spirit this year. I actually got really lucky to find him. So next, after you come out of the spider tunnel, which I made again with just some wood, some PVC pipe. Um, and oh, and also pretty much this whole thing is <laughs> held together with like zip ties. Yeah, zip ties, pretty much. So then from here, uh, you, you go inside. This is just a skeleton with like a plastic thing around him. I put some dangling chains, a lot of tarp. I used a lot of tarp, but it's actually relatively uh, affordable. And then, like I said, this is all just big, like a heavy duty pop up tent I got off of Amazon. Um, and it's really holding up well. We've got some pretty strong winds too. So after this little entrance hallway, you go into the clown room. This is all uh, background background stuff I got from Spirit as well. And 
the clown room. As you can see, it's all just in my driveway. The clown room. Uh, a little transition area to go into the other main room. And then, as you can see, I, I mounted a big black light in the middle. And I did it using just a, like a chunk of oak or pine, like the wax pine. And uh, it's really easy, really lightweight. But it just held up between these rods. Uh, I drilled holes, um, ran zip ties to attach it. It's, it's really not going anywhere. And this is like the uh, torture room. Lots of chain, uh, again, <laughs> zip ties everywhere. Uh, Michael Myers, animatronic, scary stuff. The fog machine. This is actually, uh, I attached it to this cool little uh, dropping device I found at Spirit. It's like 30 bucks. Um, so basically the head drops and then, yeah, it, it drops and then it slowly comes back up. Another black light. These are some lights as well. Then from here, it's kind of the transition outside. Um, I have a step pad for her. It's like umbrella girl. Okay, and then uh, the other thing that I really had to consider was how to make like an entry slash exit. Um, so I used just the main entrance on one side, opened it up, knocked uh, both these sides back with zip ties, and then I just hung like a white piece of uh, lace, uh, rope, whatever, and I attached it to a little hook up on the side of my house, and I just ran the tarp. And as you can see, uh, it made a pretty good divider. Obviously, this isn't a permanent structure. But for one or two nights, it works great. Um, it clearly divides the entrance from the exit. So as you come out of the tent, son, he's eight, made that, proud of him. Um, some more stuff. And then from here, you just follow the path and you're done. And this, is how I made a haunted house using uh, pop-up tents, a bunch of zip ties, um, decorations, uh, black plastic uh, sheeting. You just get it in the real big rolls um, and a lot of imagination and time. That's it and I will attach another video of everything once it's turned on.
What are you doing? <laughs> 